The Coil Framework is your ticket to unlimited open source commits. Keep watching to find out how. Hi, I'm Richard Schneeman, creator of CodeTriage.com. In the last decade of open source, I built repos with 2.8 thousand stars on GitHub and over 1.9 billion library downloads. Today, I want to teach you my framework for contribution success. COIL stands for Context, Opportunity, Implementation, and Loop. We're going to take a look at two real-world examples of COIL in action. I'll talk about landing a major feature in the open source framework, Ruby on Rails, but first, let's hit the road. I was walking to the park with my family one day when I noticed a brand new pothole. It was right in the middle of the alley behind my house. Wider than my shoulders. And deep, too. I kept walking by the pothole wishing someone would do something. One day, I realized that someone was me. I called the city. Guess what happened? The next day, it was fixed. Let's see how that fits into the COIL framework. Context. Before you can make a change, you have to understand what you're changing and how people use it. In this case, I saw the pothole. From previous experiences, I remembered that not everyone realizes you can report problems to the city. Opportunity. Find the pain or problem people are experiencing and brainstorm ways to make it better. In my story, I wanted that pothole filled. I saw an opportunity to have the city do it for me. Implementation. Go out and make the fix. Write the code. Send the pull request. For the pothole, I filed a ticket with the city. Sometimes, a good bug report on the issue tracker is enough to have an impact. Loop. Keep gaining feedback and repeat the process until the problem is solved. Here we got lucky, and it worked the first time. Now let's see COIL in action with an open source project. I was having lunch with a coworker when they mentioned some strange support tickets. Customers were dropping their production databases by accident. They were desperate for a restore. I was surprised to hear this happened regularly, but it turns out there was a common thread between them all. They were all logged into their production instances and tried to run their test suites. What do tests do before they run? Delete everything in the database for clean execution. Oops. I forked Ruby on Rails and added a guard to the test command. Then I submitted the pull request. Unlike my pothole, I didn't show up the next day to find a crew finishing up the work. I found my pull request had been rejected. But why? The maintainers loved the idea, but there was a fundamental problem with the implementation. After extensive back and forth, together we figured out a way to make everyone happy and the code was merged. As customers upgraded Rails versions, support tickets due to accidental test runs dropped to zero. The feature worked. Let's see that in COIL. Context. Databases are accidentally deleted by running tests in production. Opportunity. Add a guard that makes it impossible to delete the production databases by accident. Implementation. Record the Rails env of the database on creation and use that information to guard against deletion. Loop. We had to talk with the maintainers to find objections and update my code accordingly. Here's how you can start using COIL. Context. Start actively looking for problems and be curious about what is painful for others. By paying attention to your surroundings and asking what you could change for the better, you can contribute to your community. Opportunity. Once you've found problems, search for their root causes and then brainstorm as many solutions as you can. Separate out idea generation from down selection. Implementation. Look for a fix that is proportional to the pain you're solving. At the end of the day, a pothole is a small inconvenience and making a phone call is an easy fix. Consider impact and effectiveness. I could have quickly added a warning banner to our product to help out, but it wouldn't eliminate the database dropping problem for everyone. Patching Rails was the most thorough solution, even if it was the hardest to implement. Loop. If you find yourself at a dead end, go back to the drawing board and restart the process. Build context of why the first contribution didn't work. Identify new opportunities and then implement them. It might be frustrating to put in work that didn't solve your problem, but every step you take helps you learn. If you keep a growth mindset and keep working, you'll be unstoppable. Now, it's up to you. Go find the potholes in your own life. The more you practice COIL, the more contribution opportunities you'll find. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and be on the lookout for my book, How to Open Source, coming soon.